What up, War Roboters? Solve them here. And if you are addicted to playing this game, there's nothing wrong with you. This is just the best game in the world. All right. Uh, this is kind of a somewhat of a close comeback game here on Yamatu. Uh, I was running with some Heat players, I Artist, Addictive, No Please, uh, Punisher is actually with uh, Tool Breakers, and then uh, the fifth Heat player, and I, I, I don't know what his name is. I can't really make sense of it. Um, uh, I'll have to ask later uh, what they what they go by. Um, so here we are. I got a little bit of a bridge push uh, to start the game. Um, in the in the plasma griff. And uh, there was a time when I liked opening with this bot um, to add more uh, plasma firepower to help clear out the, the bridge right here, um, which definitely works. Uh, I've, I've switched to just using a trance lot, a lance with Ansel and Terrans. Um, because uh, it's easier to clear this out and then continue with the push forward to the, the other team's beacon. So if I don't have a trance slot in, I use this. If I have a trance slot in the hangar, then I'll use that instead. All right, so clearing that center and then trying to work here to take this bot out. And he's backing up, just getting out of range. Okay, it's because he just started to take on some damage. And this is a lot of plasma firepower. Just trying to get back in range. He's obviously rushing backwards. <clears throat> All right. Someone's going for the beacon. That's good. And I'm just trying to jump to cover and hopefully land a couple more shots but got taken out uh, but he's definitely banged up the bot's just about done all right so we got we got back center uh, our ribbon is a little bit further down than reds That lance doesn't have much in it. Just checking for some runners. And then I'm going to get down over here and work the back of, of Red's Bridge if I can. And then move on to their far home beacon if, if that permits. But Alright, got picked up early coming down here. Ansel's just about done. I have one in center. I want to splash out, but just got like all shields. So we got them down. I got a little bit of that, but not too much. Just shooting through the crack. Then these organs charge. And someone is shooting me through there. All right, definitely checking to see if someone is is on me. Because this happens a lot. You get comfortable shooting over here, and then something comes from behind the wall that you didn't notice. All right, is he gonna stay up on the Britain? No. Nope. Alright, but as a team, we cleared center, helping to take out the bridge, and someone is definitely on me over here. Now I'm going to go down. Yeah, this is like a death button on the right-hand side and a plasma galahad on the other. <clears throat> so we got pinched. Uh, they keep taking center. I don't really have any more uh, center uh, beacon taking bots uh, and red keeps 
piling up on the back of the bridge there to hold. So I'm going to come back here with the RDB and try to shoot them out from cover. All right, looks like someone got that griff. So just looking to make it easier for my team to, to beacon bash right here. All right, we do have beacon lead, but we want to hold this. There we go. Just turn in the center. There we go. All right. There's uh, something with tridents up there. That might have been a, I don't know if that was a fury or a carnage. All right, good jump of that griffin to avoid my talumbas, but someone caught him in the air. All right, I do want to get closer to hit those bots before they get that far up the ramp but that uh, trident bot is, is keeping me honest back here and then there's some Anseld bot in the background that is providing cover so I'm not able to hit this bot that I'm locked on to There we go. Nice. But that's always good. I mean, it's always good when you can uh, work your way into a battle behind uh, some kind of Anseld bot. I mean, it really helps two people get in position because you got double the firepower and then two bots benefit from a shield. All right, so our, our beacon bar is, our beacon ribbon is getting pretty low here. We need to we need to get we need to get this just wait for someone to take that shield down help take out this lance alright we've got a potentially a runner here fast bot Man, Red has just been hammering this ramp. And we have not been hammering our ramp, it doesn't seem like. Alright, so uh there's you know there's no time left here. Gotta gotta crash and go hard. See see what happens. So red is botting out two pos okay. Is botted out two, maybe three now. So we're gonna have to pull two beacons here. We're gonna have to pull center, we're gonna have to get that far home beacon. Uh, if we want to win this. Alright, so there you go, center. We're trying to get that far home beacon. Someone went down. Everyone's pushing. One, two, three, four. So four of us are past the center mark at this point. There we go, just providing cover. All right, we got that far home beacon. And now we just gotta hold this. And this will protect our ribbon from going down that quickly and red's ribbon should, should run out pretty fast now.
All right, just get in there, get my hands dirty. And if things are nice, pull out last second. That's always good. Woo, close one. Uh, yeah, good game, everybody. No beacons, which I'm never happy about. I love getting beacons. Um, uh, but did all I could to help work the back of that ramp to, to lighten the load, uh, to enable us to, to push a little bit there. But yeah, great, great fighting heat. Always a great clan to, to run with. Uh, if you enjoyed this, click the like button. Uh, subscribe, god damn it. Woo, woo!